Hey guys, I'm Russell Vane, and welcome back to another episode of Zero Escape 999. Zero Escape 9 people. No, 9 hours, 9 people, 9 doors. I don't think I said the whole episode or the whole series name in the last episode, but it's, it's what it is. Anyways, last episode we basically got through the same conversation we literally went through, which is the idea that, uh. Which is the idea that, uh. I'm trying to remember. The idea that somebody in this group is zero and it was pretty much the same conversation in a sense just that i chose the different dialogue choices but i think the dialogue really never mattered really i don't think i mean it never says that it mattered as much but uh yeah essentially we're going down the path of dead end here soon so we're gonna be uh yeah we're gonna be going through this particular ending path which will probably unlock itself somehow i have no clue i still don't get what the the uh, keys of locked means like i still don't get what that means by locked because it never really tell told me what locked means out of them so <laughs> i'm just confused but yeah otherwise I, I am taking a truly different path from what i did in the flow so that's that's the that's the goal here for now i guess taking the whole opposite end of the tracks and then I'll go back to like something like right here or something and make that choice of going through the door that we didn't get to go through yet. I mean, I want to ex explore all the puzzles at least, but also try to unlock the re like the remaining endings that there is to it. Anyways, um, we got the screwdriver. We did we did most of the puzzle in the last episode. So if you missed the last episode, I suggest you missed uh, you don't miss that one out if you are wondering about the puzzle because that's pretty much half the puzzle gone. Uh, so we did get the item of a screwdriver for the first time so we're gonna use this on this thing to get the uh, faucet thing if I use the screwdriver on the screw and on the center of this handle maybe I can there we go the knob I don't get what's the point of this now it seems very rather useless now <laughs> unless it's like if we, we if we didn't finish the other puzzle I guess maybe all right let's also unscrew this uh... Sweet, got the screws off. Now we can open the drawer. Yeah, that was the end of the uh, the end of the screwdriver's life. <laughs> There's nothing in here. Well, maybe the drawer is what maybe the drawer is what we need. The drawer, huh? May uh, the drawer, huh? All right. Well, let's yank the thing out. Oh, there's a thing. It's like a in indentation, I guess. All right, let's probably put that particular drawer we got into Lotus's drawer room, I guess. Is this the right one? Yeah, this is the right one. Okay. Use it on that thing. Sound like something falling? What was, what was that? I heard it too. Let's open the drawer. Oh, more tiles. Another 14 trial tile. Okay, so we got three out of the four E's ready to go, I guess. Knob. There we go. Sweet. The handle I got off that drawer fits the faucet perfectly. Now, I can turn the water on. Jinpei, what are you doing? It's pretty obvious, isn't it? I'm running the water. I can see that. I'm asking you why you're le just letting it run like that. Think about it, Lotus. This faucet didn't have a knob when we found it, right? What do you mean? Just watch. Any time now. Hey, water's filling up. Doesn't that just mean the pipes are gonna get clogged? The pipes are clogged? Oops. Let's turn it off for now. So did anything change? The water stopped flowing. Thank you, Mr. Obvious. Uh, Jinpei, I'm leaving this one to you, alright? <laughs> I just like how she's just talking while the water is just fulfilling. But at the same time, the water was louder than what I can say, like, louder than what I can hear <laughs> in my head when I'm speaking. Alright, it should change something here. Yeah, there it is. There we go. Got that one. Yes. So that should be the last of the tiles for the letter E's. Hmm? No. 
What happened? Oh, what? Do you stand there, Seven? Oh, Seven's collapsing. It's a lot of pain. Was he getting a memory lapse? Like he's trying to he's trying to remember something? Ah, uh, okay. I see. It's okay. Oh, it's okay. I think he's saying why is he on the ship. Oh. Interesting. Oh yeah, I forgot to talk about this. Uh in our first playthrough. There were conversations about telepathy and how there was people who were like outside telling us the information about what's going on in here. And I think it's a really interesting idea of a thought that says, hey, somebody on the outside is influencing the characters in here and how they're going to be operating through the space. And that each parallel universe versions of themselves doing whatever they're doing, like because we have different endings and such. Like, each of them influences, like, our choices to find the real ending, to find the real path forward. And I think that's what's going on with this game so far, which is really intriguing to see that our characters are exactly just trying to, like, get out. But we're telepathically telling it to them because we know what the other truth is or what the other puzzle represents and such. So it's interesting to see how, uh, how we are doing things and it's kind of influencing how they're trying to get out in a sense. But anyways... It's interesting. Huh? Hmm? That's really out of the blue, Seven. What? Aoi, I think, is blue. Light is light and nona is nine i think like the the latin the latin prefix is nine for nona i think is that the password for the coffin maybe Ooh, if that's like part of the password to the to the to the coffin that would be interesting <laughs> そうだ。実験。この船で実験が行われてたんだ。実験。実験って何の？人を操る。人を意のままに操るための実験だ。Control people. So this guy. <laughs> yeah, I like how the story just took a turn, like a 180 turn, to make it more like instead of telepathy, it's to control people. <laughs> なんだよそれ。青い、ライト、ノナ。さっき言ったのは実験の被験者となった子供たちの名前だ。あ、オッケー。うーん。I'm guessing Santa would be like because we know Clover, Santa and Seven or Snake. Snake, Santa and Clover were the people who were in this experiment as well in the past. Now that Seven is explaining about this, I'm wondering if he was part of the the experiment itself with all the kids. I wonder. Like, he was a little bit like a high schooler back then, or some sort. Huh. Uh, Oi, which is blue. Light and Nona. I'm thinking Light was Snake or Santa. Nona could be... Snake himself, I guess. And Aoi's not... I'm not too sure who the heck that is, but sure. Mm, ああ、そうだ。そうだったんだ。実験。Oh, 
クレイドル製薬。あお。俺はその事件について追っていた。Oh, Seven could be a detect, an actual detective. <laughs> I'd be surprised if he's a detective. He's such a. A different type of person that I can't really tell. I guess maybe because of the way he dresses is a little different from what I expected. So, that's why I'm not sure. Hmm? I'm not sure. Yeah. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Probably. Nah. I'm not sure. 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 どうやら俺は刑事。だったらしい。カープ？刑事？刑事。So I'm trying to remember what I'm thinking. k a i j i and then I'm because I'm learning the Japanese still, and I think k a i k o n is what I saw from what the words was. Maybe it's a different manner of cop or police. I know police. I think I think was policeman is k a i k o n but I'm wondering what k a i j i In, uh, what would that change it to? Unless it's the same kanji, and there's just a different type of pronunciation, then maybe. But I might be wrong. So da. Ima kara kunen mae. Ore wa shounen shoujo renzoku fumei jiken nitsuite otte ita. Oh, so Seven was a cop. Okay, that makes more sense. If he's not a detective, like Ace, Ace looks like a detective, while Seven looks more like a cop, which makes sense to me a little bit more. Because he's roughed up. Seven looks roughed up, so it makes sense. Still, that one. That one. Really? Ah, ah. That one. I was one year old. One year old. So I think he was in freshman year. Uh, Junpei. Kuashi koto wa yoku wakaranai ga. Gaiyo kurai nara. Or no, no. It might be first grade actually. One year old. One year old is uh first year. Year one, and then say is school sort of or student. So he, I think he was a first year first year student, meaning freshman high school or first grader. But I, I don't know. 確か当時の俺と同い年ぐらいの子供たちが突然行方不明になっちまったんだよな。新聞でもテレビでも連日のように報道してたっけ。そうか。Seven, I know she can't. Sixteen boys and girls. Why isn't it? Why is it not nineteen or eighteen? Sorry. Because eighteen means nine boys, nine girls, or something like that. Like nine different kids. Nine.、Uh, sorry, I'm trying to. I'm trying to. I, I should say this more properly. Why is it not eighteen boys and girls? And why is it? A group of eight, eight kids. Because it seems like you can only get eight kids, two separate eight kid groups, groups of eight kids.、So、is it because they have an extra one adult for each group? I guess. To、uh, do this sort of experiment with, maybe. Ah, so らしい。で、捜査を進めていく間に、クレイドル製薬って名前の製薬会社が事件に関与していることを突き止めてな。その会社の内部の人間から情報を引き出すことに成功したんだ。そいつはこう言った。今夜、エックスフトから船が出る。子供たちはその船に乗せられ、沖合に停泊している大型客船と連行されるらしい。てな。はあ。そして俺はその不当へと向かった。Wow, this is really cool that they actually have a whole setup of、uh, different scenes. Mono kagi ni miyo hisome te yosu o sagiru to, ganpeki ni issu no fushin sen ga yokozuke sare te iru no ga wakatta. Sono senjou to shui ni chira hora to hito kage ga miete na. 
But dude, Seven looks so young. <laughs><笑>もうすっかりもうすっかりもうすっかりもうすっかりもうすっかりもうすっかりもうすっかりもうすっかりもうすっかりもうすっかりもうすっかりもうすっかりもうすっかりもうすっかりもうすっかりもう
Oh yeah, motto ka. Also intriguing that these kids have like in numbers of five or six or more because of the fact that the rules have changed sort of for the kids. Dogo da, dogo kara kikoite kure. Ora kyoro kyoro to atari o mimashi, kabe ni mimi o tsukete mita. Chiga, kochi ja ne. Under the bed. Whoa. Mitsketa. <laughs> I mean, even if he can't, even if he couldn't see much there, through that, I don't think he can even fit through the vent itself because it's way too small for him. Or it's pretty small for him. だな。その先から声が聞こえてくることは間違いなかった。今夜、エクスフトから船が出る。子供たちはその船に乗せられ、沖合に停泊している大型客船と連行されるらしい。おいおいおい。まさかここはその大型客船の中だってのか。<laughs> He's actually asking that question. I'd say no, but. Oh, okay. He's actually really trying to pull it off. <laughs> Oh my god, dude, seven trying to... <laughs> the voice actor did a great job trying to just like show the proof that he's did the thing. Honestly, I wouldn't I wouldn't be surprised if this guy went on to do like a little bit of a Dragon Ball Z <laughs> character where he's just like does the power up. <laughs> I can't do it because I'm, I don't want to strain my voice from that, but the holy hell, dude. <laughs> mm. I swear, if you can fit, I'm surprised. Nah. I think he forgot the rest because he hasn't got his memory has not recovered from that point yet. I'm not surprised if that happens, but also I think that story was a pretty lengthy story, honestly. Oh. Probably he fell down and hit his head. そんな、そこにいた子供たちはどうなったんだよ。セブンが助け出したのか。かもしれないし、そうじゃないかもしれねえ。なんとなく、なんとなくだが、一人亡くなっちまったような気がする。that lined up with what Clover said too. Clover did say one kid, one of the kids that was with her, uh, did die, as well. Yeah, because Clover did mention that one of the kids died, but she was about to say say the person's name or the kid's name, but then was cut off by Ace for fudge sakes. Why he did? Why he did it? That's probably because the writer said no. We can't tell the player yet. We have to wait till the player goes through more to, to know who this kid is. I'm pretty sure this kid might have been June or Junpei. 
It would be funny if it was Junpei. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure it's Jun. Uh, or somebody who looks like Jun, at least. A girl, I think. Yeah, I think it's Jun then. Like a person who looks just like Jun. Huh? <sighs> こっから先は本当に思い出せねえんだ。そうか。真正がない。いや。分かったことだけでもまとめてみるか。9年前に発生した少年少女連続不明事件。どうやら、その事件の黒幕はクレイドル製薬という製薬会社の人間のようで、
Yes. Let's go. You found the way out. You found it. You found it. I'm sorry. I, I just feel like these these graphics of or the animation of you found it is kind of funny to me sometimes. All right, part two of the puzzle. Here we go. Part two, puzzle. Let's go. It looks like there's an electrocution chair right there. Not great sign. Puzzle part two. Mm -hmm. There's an electric chair right there. Literally an electric chair. How the hell... Why the heck do they have an electric chair? This is like the most strangest thing out of the whole ship that we've encountered so far. This is by far the weirdest one. I mean, the operations room was close to being weird, but it's not that weird to the point. Because that makes sense where, you know, you have to do operations and there's just mannequins on the freaking tables. Which, I think that's the only thing that was weird, but... This one's by far the weirdest because it seems like they've tortured people in here. Is it because they tortured people to get information out of them during the World War II or something like that? Because this ship was built on the factor of World War II being a thing. So maybe they had parts where they had war criminals on here or people of like people of war involved here. P the POW people, I think it's called. POWs. Maybe that's what they did here. It's kind of weird. Oh. Might be water. Yikes. Probably to smash someone in. あまり考えたくはないな。とにかくやばい匂いがする部屋だってのはよくわかった。うん。長いは無用だな。とっととこの部屋をやっつけて外に出よう。さあ、行動開始。ドンドンドンドンドンドン。See you later. All right. I mean, I like this. At least they're giving. At least they're giving me two puzzles in a row. I actually like the puzzles a lot, even though some of them are just weird. But some of them are, some of them are weird. But it's like not weird to the to the like to the worst. Of course, is that door goes back to the. Of course, that entrance is locked. It's been like that in every room we've been in. Why did you expect? What do you expect? There's no point to try to go back. Let's think about going forward. All right. I mean, you know, I just want to try, you know. <laughs> Alright, let's see how this flow looks now. Okay, so once we're done with this puzzle, EXC puzzle is what they're called, the escape puzzles, I think. Uh, then we get another novel right here, I bet. And then this is going to be either a novel or an ending, like uh, like one of the endings, like something like that. So I'm guessing we're going to bump into an ending right here once we get to that point. I do remember this ending being a little bit weird, though. Uh, once we solve the puzzle and get out of here, I think it's gonna be the weird the weird ending I feel like but I'm pretty sure it's gonna be a bad ending nonetheless because this makes a lot of sense in the way that it works but Who knows who who has the clues? I do think that if I did take the door door number two I think this would have unlocked instead uh, Which is because I'm, pr I'm pretty sure we go back to door number two anyways in this space but the difference is we get trapped in here for some reason and die or something for ending. I'm guessing we're dead. We're dead at the end here. I don't know. That's a guesstimation at the moment. Though there is like, what, six endings? And I'm just kind of curious which one is... How are we going to unlock these particular ones at least? Because it doesn't really say much to me. <laughs> it doesn't scream anything useful for me. So I'm just like, uh, what do we do here? All right. Well, anyways, enough worrying. I'm going to end the episode here for now. We're going to try to solve this case in the next episode. Because I am out of time. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next episode or on a video of mine. So hope you guys have a great, amazing day. We can night to one of watching this. 
Uh, next episode, let's go ahead and solve this puzzle and see if we can finish in one episode. I doubt it, but we'll see. Otherwise, that's it for this episode. So, see you guys next time. Roz, out.